the internet. My name's Buster Bootlace and welcome to my channel and welcome to another new series. Yes, I know I've got loads of series going on at the moment, but this is one that I've been wanting to do for a while. This will be called something. Oh, who's revving their engines? There we go. <laughs> no, this is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. This will be like retro racing games or something. What I wanted to do was each, well, I'd like to say each week, but because I can only do this part time because of work and stuff, uh, it'll have to be sort of every couple of weeks but, or, or something, I don't know, but as, much, as, as often as possible. This will be a new, like, retro or old racing game each time and I think that could be a lot of fun I've been wanting to do another sort of series like that so I think yeah it'd be a lot of fun so let's just sort of just see what happens I've got to say though that this is the third attempt at this video uh, I, I tried this on Sunday night and again on Monday night and each time I mean the game when the game crashed after like an hour in on both times the screen recorder crashed and just made the mp4 file unreadable and corrupt so this is the third time but I can gladly say that I don't remember what, what I said or what I did, so this will be still like a brand new playthrough. So, with all that said, let's get it started. The name's Bubo. That's the the new hip sounding name. Um, let's do that. Okay, so now let's get this one started. Okay, so it is a little bit slurish. Slurish? I think I've just made a new word up. But this is a little bit looks a little bit like street racing, street legal racing red line. So this is the garage, we've got a nice car hidden away under there which is nice. We now need to buy a car. So similar to SLRR, let's head over to the old, um, the, the car lot to see what we can find. Probably a lot of cars? Sorry, bad joke. Okay, here we are. Ah, yeah, look at that. Look, so there's quite a, an array of cars. You've got, and I've got to be honest, I'm, I'm not as up to um oh, what's going on here what's going on here i hate this Wait, oh yeah I, I don't know quite so much about american cars i've got to be honest but i i love all cars so i might oh what's going on over there oh trees are disappearing with my magic mouse Weird. anyway so i i love all cars this i'm not sure what that is is it like i kind of know what i want to say but i can't not I'm sure what, which one that is but this is looks like to me like a ford coupe i suppose the 30s I remember, I used to, I love Home Improvement, and I know Tim Allen, in the first episode, Tim Taylor, builds, I think a Ford Coupe, was that the first or second car, but apparently, he built the car in real life, so that's quite interesting. Oh, look at the sexy neon. I'm assuming that looks like a, a Chrysler neon, which looks lovely. Uh, another retro American car, another neon, and uh, I want to say Pontiac Firebird, but I'm not sure, I could be wrong. I think it'd be fun, it'd be a lot of fun to play around with this. So I think we should do this, let's do this, let's buy that one. I am... Um... Oh, oi! What? Junk? How dare you call my future car junk? That's not right. Unless you're saying junk in... Junk, junk in the trunk. Perfect! Okay, so here's our 32 coupe, which I think is a Ford, but I could be wrong. So please don't... Don't um, hate me if I've got that wrong. But we're gonna, right, so what we need to do, we've got two grand to play around with it. So let's start with, I suppose, let's start with body. And you can see straight away that the rims are slightly faded. So we can tell by that that the rims are slightly worn, but I think they're both okay. So I think we'll leave, we'll leave the rims and tires and things. Okay, so now let's go to engine. Now this is where it gets interesting because We've got all these bits and bobs here. The nitrous and the turbo aren't c connected, but um, we could buy them and turbocharge our, our 1932 Ford Coupe, which would be pretty cool. But the engine is not as much detail as SLRR because you, it's not so hands-on, but it's still similar in that you go to the store and it's, it's a lot more simplified, but you still get a good idea of, of what you can sort of get up to. So we're going to go to the left so we can okay so the max the max level of air filter is level two so i think we'll go through and we'll buy all the bits that we can within our price range within our budget so we can't upgrade the engine block distributor let's see what the next up because of course this would have probably yeah so this would have been a carb engine with an old distributor of course before it was all electronic um three six five okay so we have got quite a bit of money to spend I think 
600. Okay, so I think... Hmm, that, but that's not really going to give us much power. It'll make it more um, efficient. So I suppose that's something we could look at. Fuel filter. I think I'm going to get the fuel filter. It's only $85. Uh, fuel line is 175 I think I'm going to buy that as well. And a fuel pump as well. If we can pump more fuel in, mind you, that's 666. Right, what about the um, what about the exhaust header? 510, 840. Okay, now I'm going to get. I'm going to upgrade the the exhaust header and the intake manifold. Can we get them? Okay, we can. Just about. I'm going to get the intake manifold. Okay, now forced induction. No, I'm afraid we can't get that. Uh, nitrous. We can't get that. Oil filter and oil cooler, spark plugs, yes, that's what I want. Could we get some good, efficient spark plugs and we should better get some more power out of it. So we're down to $200, 200 bucks. I think that's going to more or less be it, unless we can maybe upgrade the fuel filter. Oh, we already did. Okay, so, look by the electrical system. Right, I think we're at the, we're at the max at the moment, so I think, let's go back. Great, so now we need to go to the shelf. Don't be so shellfish. <laughs> Anyway, so we need to install these things, and as we install them, you can see the old ones coming off, which we can then... Oh, no! <laughs> Crap! <laughs> no, I want to... No. Sell, install, 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 and then sell, sell. Good. Right, so we've got 464 now, so we can go back to the garage and see if we can buy... Go to the store. Can we buy something else? What else could we potentially get our hands on? 365. That leaves us 100 left. Oh, no, I've got an idea. Let's come out of here and let's go to the chassis and go to the store. Okay, the shocks look like they need replacing, but I think I'm going to go for the catalytic converter. Although we know a car from 1932 isn't going to have a catalytic converter, but never mind. Just play along. We'll, get, we'll upgrade the cat. And what else can we do? Pipes. How much are the pipes? 300. Okay, we can't do that because we need at least 20 dollars to be able to enter the drag races so we can't do that either sway bars i think i'm gonna get the sway bar that'd be fine we'll get the sway bar oh yeah give us 94 dollars left so we need to go to the shelf and install these two things and of course we didn't have a sway bar so now we do sell that we're back up to 134 dollars so this is our rust bucket doesn't she look glorious? I mean, she looks wonderful. So I think what we should do now is take our rust bucket junk. I can't believe they still call it junk. We need to take this to the drag strip. So let's head over to the drag strip. So we need to choose. Where should we go? Where shall we go? Oh, let's go to the mountaintop flat. I think that sounds like an interesting place to visit. Perfect. I think we should start with a practice because... I've plugged in my my Xbox Elite controller, so I'm going to see how this works. It took me ages to set it up because it was sort of a case of just guessing which buttons did what. It wasn't a case of you choose what button you want for acceleration and then press it on your control pad. You literally have to just guess which number each button was. Anyway, sorry, spending too much time explaining that. Let's go. Ah, I forgot to press next. There we go. Now we can adjust the tyre pressures and we can adjust the fuel mixture. And of course, the more grip or the more power that you get, it's sort of a, a, a balancing act where, of course, you then start having greater wear and tear. So I'm going to just... I've just randomly put it there, so I'll leave it there for now. Okay, here we go. Oh, we just got to try and make sure that we don't go over the line. Right, can I can I get near the line? Oh, I bloody disqualified. I've only just started. Get it just right. Oh, what? Again? Bloody disqualified. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's why you have a practice go. Let's see if we can get it this time. Can we go? Oh, yeah, we did it. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Let's see what kind of. Let's see what quarter. Um, <clears throat> okay, try and try and multitask. Let's see what quarter mile time we can get. Oh, we're already at 70, 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour. Awesome. And what did we get? A 14.53. I don't think that's too bad. Right, so we know we are ready. We are ready now to take on the world. So let's go to the grudge race. Let's do the grudge race and let's see how this goes down. So we know we can get, what did we get? 1453. 
scuba defries. Defries. Is that when you take fries away from someone? You've defried them. Ah, just shut up. Oh, oh what? I disqualified. Right, this time I'm going to take on Andy. And I am not letting Andy win. Right, Andy. Andy, you're going down, sunshine. Right. Good. Here we go. Go! Come on, we're going to win one for once. We haven't been disqualified. Right, what are we revving at? We went to six and a half grand. Let's see what we can do. Come on. And again. Come on. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? 14. We haven't done it yet. Oh, 14, 4, 4. Okay, ain't bad. Whoa! He's way back. Come on, Andy. Waiting for you. Bloody hell. Yeah, you took ages. Here we go. Come on. This is our, our hardest adversary to date. Right, six and a half grand. Changing at six and a half into fourth. Let's see how we can do this. 12 seconds, 13, 14, 14, 44 again. What are the chances? We ain't gonna mess around anymore. We're going to the tournament. Okay, let's go for the intermediate. See if we can win ourselves $500. Qualifying, two weeks or three weeks? Sorry, bad joke. Let's go, here we go. Go, come on. Into second. Oh no, he's pulling away. He's pulling away. Oh my goodness. Right, six and a half grand. We got a good start. But now he is way out. Look at him go. Right, can we, can we knock these cones over? Oh no! <laughs> Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I swear. Okay, we are back. And I've actually spent a little bit of money on tuning our hot rod up. So I think you'll see down there by condition, it's no longer junk. Yes. <laughs> so, and if we look at the engine, we've now got 769 brake horsepower, which is brilliant. And you can see that it's actually got a supercharger on it as well. So let's see what happens if we take this one for a spin, because we're going to come back and get our tournament. So let's see how this goes down. Let's start with a grudge. Oh no, sorry. Yep. Click a track. Let's go there. Perfect. Was it bread breakfast, did that say? Right. Oh yeah, I think that's a nomad. Again, another reference to home improvement. Because I know Tim Taylor has the, the nomad and that, that part where he drops an I-beam on it, which is really quite horrible to see a classic get flattened. Oh, sounds awesome. Complete with psychedelic paint job, which is lovely. Right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. We are... Whoa! Shit, no! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh my goodness. Okay, right. We need to try and... Right. Let's see. I love the sound. I love the engine sound. Okay, we need to try to get... All right, let's see if I can get on the starting line without ruining it. Oh, that's close. Here we go. Come on. Ready? Go! Whoa! Look how quick this thing is. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. How quick is it? Whoa! What's it doing? Oh, no! <laughs> Cross the line! Oh, you can't get any better than that. That was an awesome way to cross the line. Where's he going? He's in the middle. That was insane. Oh, we've got to see this. We've got to see this. What is going to happen? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? That's how you cross the line. Oh, I got 10 out of 10 for, for style there. And execution. Brilliant. Bread breakfast. That is bre bread breakfast. No, bread breakfast. Bread basket. <laughs> bread basket at its best. Okay, I think we should try a tournament. Let's see how this goes down. Let's do a tournament. I think we'll go straight for the custom. That means we win fifteen hundred if we see this is uh, this is where it was crashing, so I need to make sure that we don't get this crashed. We're gonna go for the qualifying. Alright, let's warm up those rear tires. Orbital car wax. Lovely. Oh no! Oh we've got a, we've got a civic. With white wall tires? A Civic with white wall tyres. That man's got style. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> Here we go! Oh, there's a big cow! Look at the big cow! Oh no! Oh shit, what are you doing? Oh. For goodness sake. The big cow distracted me. I don't even know what happened. Okay, let's freaking do this. Wait! Whoa! Right, can I just get this to... There we go. That'll do. Go! Well, we've got a good reaction time. I'm all over the place, but never mind. 
Right, I try not to spin all over the place, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I said to spin. Oh, and he did as well. <laughs> we both span. What happened? We're in first place. We have the semi-final to do. Semi-final. Let's do this. Man, this has been insane. This has been brilliant. I love this game. I love this game. Oh, RX-7. Oh. We've got a Rex. We've got a Rex. Right, let's see. American muscle versus, well, Japanese ricer. Oh, no. I got sidetracked. Oh, this thing is brilliant. Why oh, I got to spin out. Oh, no. Where are you going? Oh. Final. We have the finale. Oh, our uh, time's getting better as we move forward, so that's good. This is where it crashed in the previous playthroughs which screwed up my screen recorder and everything so I've stopped and started it I've done the recording in segments so hopefully we don't lose all the footage this time this will be the third time but I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this one a little easier go right, I'm gonna take this one a little easier if we're in front I'm gonna take it easier hoping it doesn't crash don't crash don't crash don't crash oh, I crashed Okay, so we're back in, and yeah, the game crashed again. I don't know why it does that, but it, for some reason, on the finale drag race on the tournaments, it just seems to crash. I have no idea why, which is frustrating, but um, this time I managed to save the footage, so I'm really happy that when the game crashed, I smacked F9 quick, quick enough to close the file off, so this time we haven't lost the footage. So, I've done another car, um, and all we need is the other car, if I can just, I hate the camera, I get really annoyed with the camera. Okay, so here's the, the next car. Oh, oh man, I, get, I can't use the camera. I cannot use the camera. That's weird. The left and right is opposite, but yet the up and down is up and down. Weird. We need to get ourselves a nice colour scheme. So that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Value soft. Oh, oh my goodness, a bloody camera does my nine. Oh, the camera is pants. Beautiful value soft graphics. Yeah, I didn't say, but this game is from 2004 for memory, and it was released by Value Soft. So there you go, Value Soft. So yeah, it's from Value Soft. They must be ashamed of this game because they don't even have it on their website, which which is weird. Play camera, hillside drag strip. So let's go there. Let's see how this goes down. Let's do the hot rod. Here we go in our custom value soft hot rod so let's see how this goes down mm. oh 90 <laughs> this is the best reaction time ever that was awesome oh my god no control the car <laughs> wow that was really close my goodness okay okay i forgot we had nos so we need to try the nos out as well there we go ready to go come on into second into third into fourth nos <laughs> no! Jump away! No! Oh, for goodness sake. Why does it keep doing that? Right, we qualified at least. And this is the hardest part of the game, I think, is getting this bit done. There we go. Here we go. Come on. Three, two, one, go! Come on! Into second. We had a two... Oh, a point two eight one. Ooh. No! Oh, wow! Look at him! Wow! That was a flying RX-7 I just saw then. Let's see, let's see the replay. Let's check the replay. Ready? Well, I do that, and then, oh, we don't get to see him. Okay, I am back in again, and this time I had to try something Japanese, and this is the Impreza. It looks like it's based on the Impreza, but I'm just going to put all the bits on. I've already gone through the painstaking efforts of buying all the little bits, and it says that it's damaged, so let's see what it looks like when we get all the parts on. So, I'll be back. Right, here we go. So, it's coming together. Cool. Okay, we just need a nice new paint job, so let's do that. Right, we've got the the nice nice new colour. 769. Yeah, I don't know why I said 669 before. 769 brake horsepower. So that's the, the average, the standard maxed out. Let's go to let's go to let's go to uh, let's go to Florida. The Ford Mustang. Let's do that. See how that goes down. There we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Let's see what this can do. The Dragon Impreza, let's see what it can do. And the NOS and everything. Whoa! <laughs> oh dear. What did we get? 6.75. Not bad. So unfortunately, we can't do the tournament because it keeps crashing. Let's do one more race then. Let's see what we can do here. Three, two, one, go! 
Because we can beat our time. Rip it right up. Come on. Oh no, I hit the side. Oh crap. Oh, and a tree. Oh no, that's not even a tree. What is that? I don't know what that is, but we hit it. That looked painful. Right, we're going to take on the Dodge Charger now. Let's see what happens. Can we get to... Well, here we go. That'll do. Two, one, go. <laughs> Here we go, let's do this. Let's do this! Wow, that was actually quite close. Who have we got here at Prairie Junction? 600. Todd Coltrane. Let's see what he's got to offer. Come on, Todd. Go! We're still doing it! Whoa! Where are you going? Oh, Todd was crap! Yeah, okay, so I think uh, that'll be it for this episode. It was uh, a lot of fun to check out, and I'm so glad. Where's Todd? I have no idea. Whilst we wait for Todd, let's... Um... Oh, okay, let's see what Todd did. What did Todd do? Oh, we don't know where Todd is. Oh, he crashed! Todd crashed. Anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. This is a bit of an obscure game I wanted to check out from 2004. I want to keep doing this. I want to keep checking out old school retro racing games. I think we could probably have a lot of fun with that. So, And it's just a, a, a new sort of series to do and a, a new series to check out. So let's see how that goes down. And we will keep doing the SL Double R. And I do need to do the Import Tuner Challenge, episode 11, I can't believe that's episode 11, and some other bits, and my camera charger has arrived, so so I can collect that tomorrow from the post office, so hopefully I can start doing more things with the camera. And I do want to get myself a GoPro and start doing more car videos with, with my STI, so that's another thing. But I don't know, I suppose, thanks so much for watching, I'm so... Ah, oh, thank you so much for the support and you know people putting some real cool comments in there and you never know I mean we will grow we're growing slowly and hopefully we can start doing some community things so I don't know I suppose with all that said um, yeah I hope you guys uh, kind of enjoyed the hot rod from Garage to Glory <laughs> don't know why I keep putting that voice on but anyway thank you very much for watching whoever you are wherever you are have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.